Okay. Uh, let me say why you decided to a new John, not existing John or node or in a hardware way. So firstly, uh, we probably partially mentioned, but for existing John, John normal, uh, to summarize, it is not pluggable. It is not pluggable. So it, and it only works for basically dim DRAM device. And John movable, it not a lot pinning, but and also it is for the dim DRAM device. And John uh, movable. Uh, the, the, I don't think it, uh, they specify that they're for dim DRAM devices. I mean, why can't they be like uh, okay. for CXL uh, yeah. devices? Okay, yeah, please uh, understand this, not CXL DRAM. I mean, I, I want to say that CXL DRAM has uh, some, some different hardware characteristics. Yeah, I will mention it first. So I think uh, there are some CXL hardware natures that MM should concern, and that it is a performance can be the, the dynamically changed due to the link negotiation for, and for QS, uh, QS throttling. And for error handling purpose, so there is a different NAS, last mechanism than DIM DRAM and the switch and fabric connection error can more happens. And uh, for sharing purpose, uh, security and permission issue can be addressed. And uh, the CXL DRAM allows uh, async operations like a background. For, for example, format update and sanitize and some, some commands allows uh, the background operations. So I think those uh, hardware natures are the MM and should concern. But, uh, quick, I mean, like we have background scrubbers for DDR, like 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 w we have a post package repair for DDR, like like th these these th these aren't unique to CXL. I'm, I'm sorry, pardon. Me. That, that we have we have air handling, RAS, uh, uh, scrubbing, all these background operations that that happen on DDR. Yeah, that, all, that also happen on CXL. So th like CXL is not unique in that way. Well, probably, but. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure it will be 100% the same with the DIM DRAM because uh, it's not 100% the same, but like, but it's like, it's like, clo clo like, it's close enough to not have to throw away the, the like the, the the model we have here, um, like, like we, we it, it's the case that some people have have had DRAM that comes up at the wrong it, it train it trains at the uh, Trains at the either the wrong number of channels or the or the, or the wrong uh, speed. Like, like these these are problems that we have we have on DDR too. Okay, so so the features uh, that I mentioned here is uh, is not one hundred percent, but but uh, I summarized some six features that could be different from that is different from DDR DRAM uh, DIM DRAM. So even MM need to consider. So uh, yeah. I, I oh. I, the other the other point I'll just, I'll just make is that like that we can run with nodes until we can't run with it anymore. Like th there's there's no nothing that stops us from getting more complicated later. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to find the, the summary of why we don't add add zones because it's it's just an it adds it's another dimension of manageability that the core MMS must be responsible for. Uh, okay, uh, let me say for further for this slide. So. Yeah, to explain why we selected a new job. So yeah, so and for so for normal and movable is geared and not for CXL DRAM, and uh, for John devices as we all know, it not allows a page allocation. So we thought uh, jo John, and then why not Node is, so so there are uh, three reasons. Firstly, uh, we wanted to inherit the MM background. So, so, because we know the MM is the uh, node is the topmost at uh, MM hierarchy, and the node is usually like abstract uh, multiple CX, multiple memory channels. So, uh, when CXM memory becomes single node, a kernel need to aware or uh, need to de newly devise a, a larger level of management. So, let co let's call it the super node. So. So then John, uh, when you put it as a John unit, uh, so it would be u better to use existing node and John code. Because uh, node is the rightest, uh, node is the, the largest uh, unit now. And uh, uh, second reason is uh, we also wanted to expand the, the MM hierarchy. So as I mentioned, so in current Linux implementation, John actually implement uh, 
some uh, specific MM algorithms like uh, convection and reclaim watermark, migration, anti flagration. So I think th those features can be revisited uh, for CXL DRAM. And, and the third reason is uh, so probably people here is, uh, is uh, it will be easy, but uh, it was uh, less dependency and the maintenance effort. So Nodu is uh, widely coupled with other kernel subsystems and user space than Jomer, than John. So John required uh, uh, much less code modification. So yeah, so probably less potential side effect and management effort. So those are all, yeah, we need, uh, we, pro we propose a new job. And one plus uh, the for hardware way, so yeah, we, we provide uh, some functionality point of view, the hardware software coexist. But uh, uh, if the, the architecture then explained uh, was work after OS boot uh, with a driver, by driver, I think uh, it, it meets. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think, I really think that if, I, if I'm channeling the room, like that this line scares people. Like, like we, that we don't want to have different algorithms. Like th this, so I know you're saying this is the maintenance effort. This looks like the maintenance effort of having memory type aware co compaction and reclaim algorithms. Like we didn't, like we didn't change the kernel because we went from DDR one to two, to three to four to five. Like, so we're not going to change the algorithm for going from CXL one to two to three to four to five. Does that make sense? What, what, what I want to say is you, you claim that zone requires much less code modification, but that's just not true. I mean, you, you, all of a sudden you want, you, you, you're specifying a new MMAP flag to be able to specify that you want to be able to alloc from a particular zone. So now you're exposing zones far more widely, and I, I think that's what's really scaring people, is, is, is that all of a sudden zones become much more visible. And... All, all, all we see is you can do everything you want to do with nodes. You can't do them with zones. So yeah, you can, you, can, you can enhance the concept of zones, you can enhance everything so that zones can now do everything that nodes can. But I mean, you can take a plane, cut the wings off and drive it on the road, but you haven't made a good car. And also, uh, how many zones do we need, right? Because um, like 10, 20? 100 or how many? Because uh, a single zone simply cannot describe all the variety that uh, goes with the new technology that you don't know these days. And this might be completely different thing in, in upcoming years. So I, I agree with uh, Matthew that uh, we shouldn't expose zones outside of the core MM, not to mention to the user space. Because once you start like M, uh, M up flag for um, this special zone, then do we want to have the same thing for the zone normal, zone DMA, zone? There is a lot of complexity that that down the road. Well, uh, for the the dance command for. Uh, Applying the this different algorithm on John level. So what I thought was uh, so probably we provide the ABI, ABI to apply the level of these uh, algorithms for for a, a new John. For example, if we use the the John mover or John normal, and then the yeah the same same ratio will be applied on the, the same John. So uh, we we thought. So with uh, the different John, we can apply the, the different ratio for the algorithms. With the so so l l let me just like try to understand what you try to do. Like you say you like we're gonna add a new zone and so we can have smarter algorithms working on it. Like what would stop you from using what we propose, like just using a node and configuring the node to have different compaction whatsoever mechanism. I mean, as, as Michael said, most of your memory will be in so normal or so movable, most probably in one of these. So just configure the node and like to have some something else if you really need it, if you really, really need it. But I don't think that you need a new zone just to make something differently configurable or hard-coded, like even worse, hard-coded in the kernel. 
Like what stops you from going with the nodes and then configuring for a node that you want that node because it's so special, because it's so slow to behave a different, like slightly different in certain scenarios. That makes much more sense to me. Maybe, I, I see shaking heads, so. <laughs> and even with that, uh, why would you need different algorithm for slower memory, for example? So it's slower, but you still need to compact to reclaim. Because uh, uh, the system is uh, the hybrid memory is near file, so probably some reclaim or recaption do the so kind of migration between the nodes. So, but that's already encoded in the node distancing. You want to migrate to the best node you can anyway. And I'll also note that we, the other memory type that we're also dealing with on systems today is, is high bandwidth memory, and we haven't done anything different. And that's like radically, like CXL is supposed to be like DDR-ish. HBM is, supposed, is, is, a, is a whole other class that needs this whole other management scheme, and we haven't even thought about a new zone for HBM. Okay. Uh, and the, the regarding the allocation path that Matthew has mentioned, uh, let me explain some more. But... Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned, yeah, we expanded uh, the system called Plex and GFQ EXMEM. And how it works is uh, these two Plex covers uh, John EXMEM's uh, free pages. So, yeah, here, right here. And uh, the, the GX, uh, so John EXMEM locates uh, the balance, the system core and kernel locate the expansions that we made. So, so, we think it is not that complicated on a, the rather added, uh, uh, as the configuration can be made on OS boot and uh, after OS boot. So, so CXN memories are the integrated in the, the same zone. So, so allocation latency is not that long, I think, because it is always already made. So when an application layer or a kernel space requests uh, memory allocation, page allocation, then what it happens is uh, it just uh, find out this John and, and put the pre pages. So I think it's better than do finding out kind of some performance table on allocation time. Have you looked at lib mem kind? Uh, sure. Yeah. You, you've looked at lib mem kind? Yes. And it doesn't do what you need? Uh, well, actually, you know, when, when I when it see the mem kind, it doesn't support it. Uh, uh, so we expanded <laughs> our own library. Uh, <laughs> okay, so rather than add 50 lines of code to live memkind, you decided to do all of this. Mm. Okay, but uh, one another issue of uh, memkind is uh, memkind is a third-party library. So not only application can use that. So we thought that the kernel primitively, primitively provide information. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think uh, we're I think we're over time, but. I, 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 I kind of want to land this plane. Um, the this car. Huh? This car. I want to land this car. Um, I think. Like, I think. So. Like. I, I'm not. I'm not hearing. I'm not, I'm not hearing people being convinced or scared about the ability to use nodes. That said, like we're like this community is willing to be proved proved wrong, but it needs to be proved wrong with like hard. I have this use case that I cannot do with nodes. And we and so it's like the, it might be better or, the, or this might be more efficient is n is not sufficient uh to kind of overcome this like hey like we want we just want it to look like every other node. So this is this isn't a well this is like a this is like a like a like a node today um but like come back with like the, the kind of the hard can't do this without this change kind of uh, argument, uh, and 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 that and that that's how I moved this forward. Like that that was how MapSync came into being. Like, like we went. I think it was a two-year discussion. Where like we have no other way we can think of to tell the kernel that like, hey, we don't we're not going to be calling msync on you. Like we need you need to you need to sync your metadata, and that was two years um, uh, until we finally convinced people like, yeah, okay, we I think th th we need this. So. Um, that's the kind of that's the kind of hill you're you're climbing at this point is 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 a, kind of like a two year effort to convince the community to get a new MF flag. 
That's the that's that, that's the bar. Um, but yes, yeah, please 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 continue to to engage and 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 yeah, and we'll 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 definitely change our minds with evidence. One last question. So, um, in terms of uh, job scheduling in a fleet, so how uh, would the two uh, multiple tiers of jobs um, take advantage of this proposal? Is it possible, let's say I have tier one job and tier two job, how do I um, impact them with this proposal? Because with, with nodes, um, we might be able to, you know, band, you know, the two jobs, two different nodes. With zones, uh, is there a way to, um, to do this or? Um, okay. Because we, well, we so want to, uh, oh, okay, we want the tier one job to use like well, I think the, the way to okay. kind of the kind of way to the aggregate the bandwidth or capacity way will be it will be the similar whether it is a zone or node. But in our case, how it happens is, uh, yeah, here. So as I mentioned, yeah, the the multiple CXL channels can be aggregated into one one zone, and the how it do is uh, we have uh, some CLI the commands uh, you can. Con think it kind of uh, the late. So we think of a kind of a software late striping zero, striping. So when you make it as a group, for example, target node one and device six and one two, then the device is uh, rated into here. Then it performs the, the, the round robin algorithm. Yeah, it, it interrupts in a software way. But uh, I thought uh, uh, this part can be replaced as a, the, the when uh, the working system, a working memory device and host bridge works. I think uh, this part can be replaced or coexist with uh, the dense the proposal. So basically it is not the, the scheduling of task, but uh, we, I think we are telling about how to aggregate uh, the six memory capacity or bandwidth. Um, okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're, we're out of time, but uh, thank, yeah, thank you, and yeah, and continue, uh, continue uh, investigating the use cases that we can't do. Rick, thank you very much. Thank you.